Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. A Buffalo teenager in custody for a triple shooting earlier this month. 18-year-old Joshua Bermudez is charged with the murder of 17-year-old Deron Allen. Two other victims were also injured by gunfire during the shooting outside the North Buffalo Community Center. Authorities say it took some serious digging and help from the community to make that arrest possible. Plans for Western New York's next Chick-fil-A have now been grounded. It was announced Chick-fil-A would open a new restaurant in the Buffalo Airport this fall. State Assemblyman Sean Ryan, however, argued that Chick-fil-A should not be allowed to operate on public property, saying that the company has donated to anti-LGBTQ causes. The NFTA did confirm that Chick-fil-A has now been removed from plans. In a statement, Chick-fil-A says it embraces all people, regardless of religion, race, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or gender identity. Also, it's a sure sign that warmer weather is eventually on the way. The transit drive-in set to open for the season. The drive-in announced it will open next Friday, April 5th. Looks like Pet Cemetery, Escape Room, Shazam, and Aquaman will be showing on the screens. You can find all the showtimes right now on the website and the WKBW app. Time now to check in with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski with your 7 First Alert forecast. Well, we have some showers that we'll be dealing with for our Saturday. Temperatures are going to be near 60 degrees by the time we get into the afternoon, but there are going to be some times where we're not dealing with showers. Now, from 1030 to about 2, things are looking not too bad. Some of these spotty showers, but getting heavier as we head into the afternoon and eventually into the evening. What we'll then see is colder air build in and we'll then turn it to snow through the overnight, continuing through the day on on Sunday. How much snow are we getting? Well, it will eventually be to a couple of inches, especially for some of those higher hilltops. But before we get there, 60 degrees, again, those rain showers through the afternoon and evening on Saturday.